everybody. It's Thursday, so it's time for Kelly's Craft Corner. Hope everybody had a fun spring break. Um, my birthday was this week. My daughter made this very fun banner, and I had to show you what Miss Laura sent me for a gift. It's very silly. How fun is that? It holds my glasses. It's a nose and a mouth. And it's very silly. Thank you, Laura. All right, friends. So this week we are doing the letter P. P, 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 P. Okay, so we are going to make a pig. Oink, oink. And we are going to make a peacock. Do you guys remember when we went to the Turtleback Zoo? Some of the beautiful, beautiful peacocks that we found. They both start with the letter P. So let's start with our pig craft first. All right, so what you need is pink construction paper, two shades of pink. So I didn't have two shades of pink, so I had red, but it's kind of a light red, so it, it looks it looks good with the pink. It looks pink. All right, so first, what we are going to do is we are going to make a letter P. So, I have a ruler, and I have a pen or a pencil. But what I want you to do is, I want you to draw, which is kind of silly, I want you to draw a capital D right about there, I'll show you. Go down and around. There you go, there's my capital D. Then I want you to go about halfway down, right here, and then just draw a line straight down. So you can use your ruler or you can just use freehand. So now, it looks kind of silly, but that's what it looks like. And then, I want you to take your scissors, and you're going to cut straight along the line. You might want to have mommy or daddy help you with this. It's a little tricky to make our P. And then we're going to go around the D, not close to where we drew the D, all the way around. So it's gonna look like this. And then when we made our lion craft, remember we had a we had to bend it in half and make a little slit there. So you might want to ask mommy to help you do this. So I'm going to bend it in half, put a little slit, stick my scissor in, and then I'm going to cut along the line of my D. I'm going to go all the way around. So I'm going to make a nice hole for my letter P. Right in the middle. Alright. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know that. There. Now I have the letter P. So, let's see. What does my pig need? He needs some ears. All right, let's give them some ears. So with my pink construction paper that I had, I'm going to fold it in half like this. Okay, actually don't need this piece. I'm just going to throw that away. And I'm going to draw an oval. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna make a nice oval. So now, with my paper folded, I'm going to end up with two ears. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go around and around and around and around. And I'm going to cut out my oval. The shape is an oval. There you go. Now I have two piggy ears. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my letter P, and I'm going to turn it over, 
And I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna glue my piggy's ears on. Just like that. There's one. And there's the other one. Okay, now my piggy has ears. Yay! And then I'm gonna take my other piece of paper, the red or the the other, if you have a darker pink, and I am going to take the corner and just cut straight. And then guess what I'm gonna end up with? I'm gonna end up with a triangle. Just like that. There's my triangle. I'm gonna take my other end and I'm gonna do the same thing. Go straight across. And now I have two triangles. And I am going to take my glue stick again and I'm gonna glue them inside of his pink ears. Just like that. Just like that. Now my piggy has ears. Yay! Okay, I found my googly eyes. But if you don't have googly eyes, you can always just draw his eye with black marker. All right, I'm gonna take my googly eye and I'm gonna put glue on my paper again. And I'm gonna put his eyeball right on there, just like that. Now, let's see. Hmm. He needs a nose, he needs a pig nose. I'm gonna take my darker paper and I have a cap to big water jug that we have. And I'm going to place it on top and I'm going to take my pen or my pencil and trace around. So then I will have a circle. I'm take my scissor and I'm going to cut around and around and around and around and around and around in a circle. And then I'm gonna take my glue stick again and I'm gonna glue my pig's nose right at the base of my pee, just like that. Now he needs his little pig nostrils. So I'm gonna take a black marker and I'm going to make two ovals again. So we're talking about ovals. So in our craft, we did triangles and we did ovals. Now my piggy has a nose. Do, do, do. Hmm, what else does he need? Oh, he needs a tail. So I happen to have pipe cleaners at home. So I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, you could use construction paper, or maybe mom, mommy might have some um, curling ribbon that she puts on presents. So whatever you have. And I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, and my pipe cleaner's pink, and I'm going to wrap it around my finger, kind of like when we made our ladybug, just like that. And then I'm going to pull it out, and there's my little curly pig. And then everybody knows how much I like my stapler. I'm going to staple his tail on my piggy. Just like that. Ta-da! And there you have it. Wink, wink. There's your P is for pig craft. All right, moving on. Now we are going to make our peacock. All right. Peacock takes a little bit longer to make, but it'll be really pretty when it's finished. So I chose to use blue for my peacock's body and green construction paper, but you could use purple, whatever, whatever colors you have, purple, green, blue, whatever you like. So in order to make our body of our peacock, just like we did with our pig, we're gonna do the same thing and we're going to trace the letter P. All right, 
So I'm gonna take my blue construction paper and I'm going to make a letter D like I did before, right at the top. And then I'm going to make a line. And then we'll take our scissors. And like I said, you might wanna ask mommy to help you with this. It's a little bit hard, but I don't know. You guys are very, very smart. And I think you can actually do it. And we're gonna go around and around. We go around and around a lot, don't we? Round and around and around and around. Round and around and around and around. Okay, I have a letter P. Now I'm gonna fold it in half and give it a little slice. And I'm gonna stick my scissor in there and I'm going to cut around my letter D. So I cut out the center of my P. Who knew that there was a letter D in the letter P? A little silly, huh? Okay, here we go. Around and around and around. Yay! Now I have my P for my peacock. Okay, now this is the tricky part. Okay, so my peacock that I made before had green feathers but I think I'm gonna make all different color feathers for you guys so you can see what it looks like with other different colors. So I'm gonna need a couple of pieces of paper. So I'm gonna use one blue, one purple, and I think two green. All right, I'm gonna stack them all together just like, just like that. And then I'm going to fold them in half, just like that. And I'm gonna take my pen or my pencil and um, I'm going to sort of make an oval. I'll show you what I'm making. I'm sure if you are having a hard time with this, maybe mommy or daddy can do it for you. Kind of like that, kind of looks like a finger. So I just started from the edge of the paper and I went up and around, just like that. These are gonna be my feathers for my peacock. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and this whole stack of paper and I'm going to cut along the line, just like this. And around and around and around and around and around and around. Ha ha. Okay, now look what we have. We have all these pretty feathers. So we have some blue, some green, some purple, just like, sorry, just like that. Don't they look pretty? All right, so now we have to glue them on the back. So. We are going to want to cover up the inside of the, the P. So they're all going to overlap. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm put a lot of glue. I know you guys like to do that. That's for sure. I put a lot of glue here and a lot of glue here so that all my feathers will fan out. Okay. So now glue, 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 glue. Glue all the way around and glue down. And remember, you can always peel them off if you don't like the way they look. So I'm gonna start in the center, kind of the top of the peacock's head, and I'm gonna put it on, just like that. And then I'm just going to continue to go around on either side. So you want to do three on each side. So you have your one in the center and then you're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're going to have a total of, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to have a total of seven feathers. All right, let's get busy here. So 
go like this. So I have one, two, and one more. So I have three on this side, and my one in the middle. And then I'm going to go all around the other side. All right, you guys get the idea, right? So we're gonna go here, go here, and we're gonna go here. All right, there is our peacock. Okay, then what we're gonna do is he needs an eyeball and he needs a nose. All right, so we're gonna glue his eyeball right on the edge of the pea. All right, we'll put it on right like that. All right, so his eyeball's over here on the pea. And then we if you have an orange, I'm going to use orange, and I'm going to cut a triangle. So remember, I'm going to cut on the edge, just like that. Just a little snip, and look at that. Instant triangle. There we go. All right, and I'm going to glue his beak right about there. All right, there we go. Now, peacocks have this very pretty little, I don't know what you'd call it, but it's very pretty and it kind of pokes out. So, I have a blue pipe cleaner, but like I said, if you don't have one, you could always draw it. You could always draw it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna make a V, V for Victoria. And I'm going to bend it down and bend it down, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm gonna staple it right on. Now I know the peacock's a little bit harder, more involved to make than our pig was, but I'm sure it'll be beautiful when it comes out. So I gave it a little top right there. And then I chose blue, purple, and orange to make my beautiful, beautiful peacock markings on his or her feathers, okay? So what I did was I took my orange crayon and I made an orange circle and I filled it in on each feather. How many feathers do we have again? You guys remember? Seven seven feathers. So I'm going to make an orange circle on each one of my feathers. There we go. Just like that. I made orange. But like I said, you can use whatever color you guys like. All right. And then I took my blue crayon and I just drew a circle around my orange circle that I made. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I took my purple crayon and I went around the blue circle. So I went around again. I went around seven times all around the peacock. All the way around. All right, just like that. So I like this one better. <laughs> this is what it should look like. So all right, everybody, remember P is for peacock and P is for pig. Oink, oink. All right, guys, have a good weekend. I'll see you next Thursday. Be good. Bye.